U.S. to pay heavy price for attacks on Iraq and Syria ex-envoy says. The former Iranian ambassador to Baghdad Hassan Daniafar described the U.S. fighter jets raids last night against the positions of Popular Mobilization Units, PMU, or Hash al-Shabi, as an attempt by the United States to escape from the fact that the PMU has become a reality in Iraq, and believed that this attempt will accelerate the U.S. expulsion from Iraq and the region. On the possible PMU reaction to the U.S. airstrikes, the former Iran envoy to Iraq pointed to two different subjects and said that, there is legitimate resistance against the occupation inside Iraq on the one hand, and there is a military structure namely PMU. The United States' wrong calculation is that it likens the legitimate resistance against the occupation and the PMU as one single thing. Accordingly, it attacks the PMU positions from time to time. He further noted that these attacks will come at a heavy price to the United States. In response to the question whether the recent U.S. attacks in Iraq are related to developments in Afghanistan, Dani Afar answered that I do not think the developments in these two countries are structurally and organizationally related. He further said I must say that the U.S. attacks on the PMU positions on the Iraqi-Syrian border is a low-value tactical measure taken to response to some issues. The former Iranian diplomat said that the cases of Afghanistan and Iraq are separate, adding that the two cases have something in common and that the United States acts suspiciously in both cases. The Americans collaborated with the Taliban in Afghanistan.